Welcome back to the Easy Podcast, Season 2, Episode 24. Round of applause. <laughs> that was a great round of applause. Way better than last week. Um, let's address some things here. I don't have shoes on. I know. I don't need a single person in the comments saying, Peyton, why don't you have shoes on? As I was walking into this studio, I dropped a damn near liter of water onto my boots. It was like I was stepping in a swamp. Do you know how upsetting that is to have unnecessary water below the ankle? So maybe I'm a little upset right now that I have wet wet feet. Look at that. I have wet feet right now. It's all right. We're not going to talk about it. And you look at this shirt, holes in the pits. Holes in the pit. Uh, holes in the pits of the shirt. Not not ideal situation. But happy Labor Day weekend to everybody watching, listening to this podcast right now. Hey, enjoy your week. Enjoy. Is it a, how long is Labor Day week? How long do you get off? Just a day? Okay. Well, have, have a good day. Go out, get a, get, get a boat. If you can't swim like Uncle P, go ahead and get a life vest, life jacket so we can keep you here. Guys, last week's episode was so good. It was probably my favorite of all time. I, a lot of you liked it. Um, it was embarrassing for me, but I enjoyed it. Also, guys, we're getting closer and closer to 10,000 followers on Instagram. And if you want to be a part of the podcast via Instagram, you have to be following me on Instagram at PSHA. We're going to take a question from Instagram today. And you only get that luxury if you're following on Instagram. But if you're watching this podcast right now and you look below you and see that subscribe button isn't pressed, say it with me, you're wrong. If you look even more below that and you see that your comment section isn't fulfilled with your name, you're even more wrong. Go ahead and leave a comment. I love to hear from you, your feedback, all that. Guys, this is a great episode. I want y'all to sit back, chill, go ahead and grab a liquid refreshment. It's Labor Day weekend. Co-host Cam is back in the studio. I'm very nervous because last week he was on a tirade of making fun of me. But um, hopefully it doesn't say anything about my socks. All right. I will see you guys in a little bit. The you Should Know Podcast. All right, guys. We got co-host Cam back in the studio. Can we just do it right this time? Yeah. Just one. Thank you. All right. So he already filled me in. <laughs> I would have obliterated him if I showed up and this man was barefoot for no reason. So we're just we're just gonna we're just gonna skip it because he already addressed y'all. He already I've seen the soaking wet shoes. He's already it filled me in. So just it's not even there. Out of sight, out of mind. We gotta make do with what we gotta work with. What we gotta make do. What we gotta make a good day. So oh, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Anyway, you ever walk and it's like, squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh, that's yeah. what's happening to me right now. It's so uncomfortable. It's pissing me off. Honestly, this is the one of the few times I say you made a right decision Dude, by taking look crazy by ta nope by uh, by taking the shoes off. Thank you. Because if I would have saw soaking wet shoes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would have been it would have been a, a day. Last week's episode, bro. Oh my god, it y'all <laughs> like you don't even understand. Just every it was like a. It was like a train wreck, but each train car had like dynamite in it and like fire. It was, that it, was wild. It like, I think it's because of the ambiance in this. I added a Baskin Robbins banner back yeah, here. It was like, it's a, like a fever dream. It was a full blown fever dream. Like what is going on? We're in uh, the nether portal. Like it, it was, and it was different. Bella came on and just absolutely just told us about swallowing blades and tomahawks to tide people, humans on trees. Like, oh, it was. What an episode. But this week, uh, Labor Day. Did you tell them about that in the intro, Labor Day? Yeah. Okay. So, obviously, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy Monday off for um, for most people. But uh, if you do go out in the water or whatever, be safe. Y'all know that. You know, we, we, we want you to have a great time, but we want you to stay safe. We need y'all here That's every week. Thing. Stay safe. Wear a life jacket. Have someone that can actually drive a boat. Don't just be like, let me drive a boat. Let me drive a boat. No. <laughs> You're not a boat driver, so exactly. But have call fun, it, stay safe. Call an Uber. Just call because it's Uber down the road something. doesn't mean you can make it. Be yeah. safe. We want you here. We love Boom. you guys. Okay, we're a responsible podcast. That's what. That's why we make. We're here with the. Don't ever put your index into my wrist like yeah, that. I, I did. I not got like, like that. in between ligaments right there, and it was. <laughs> it was. It was like a perfect fit for my finger. It was 
Um, that was weird. All right. So tonight, tonight we're we're stepping out a little bit. We're we're seeing that we don't go out much because you're married and old and have a real job, and I'm okay. young and alone. So, okay. And I have no other friends other than you. So we're uh, the same age. So the old and young don't quite understand that part. You're older but, than me. Uh, barely, but no, you by a whole like, year. Mm, whole what year. year did you graduate high school? Ye- what year did you graduate high school? What year did you graduate? 2017. 2016. One year, isn't it? Yep, not 10. Who wins? I do. Okay. Chalk that up. You see that board back there that says Peyton's wins, Cam's wins? Add yeah. one to Peyton's Peyton side. says 34. Mine says, was, was it 517? Okay. Just, just <laughs> Hey, a win's stuff. a win. We take that. You know what I mean? But I wanted to bring this up because I was thinking, since we never go out, um, I was thinking back to our old times when we used to go out when we were in college. We'd hit the clubs. You know what I mean? And Him. I was... We'd hit the club like it was it was nuts and I was thinking well okay well when we did it wasn't like a Saturday obligation like habitual we went a lot we went a lot but it wasn't like there was the Saturdays like the Saturdays for the boys we're gonna stay in the dorms we just go to the the girls pod and we're okay it's for the boys and the girls but we're just gonna play pool shoot some billiards you know listen to Samuel Smith on a sound bar way too loud (laughs) listen to Sam you would have thought we were just teared up like crying but no it was good I'm, times but, but i was thinking the club experience now from then is totally different like when we used to go to clubs like, in college we would leave the club drenching oh, wet oh yeah in yeah, sweat yeah you're not gonna see that now like it's okay i thought you meant the clubs have changed and i was like yeah sort no, of no they have but, too no but our take on clubbing and going insane Com- like like nasty behavior complete 180 we used to literally have circles and we would one by one go in there just like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like doing everything all like just oh yeah. we have pictures of us in the club and we're all just like oh yeah. wet like like we just work like i'd out. have to take pictures like <laughs> tuck like this was the go-to so you were tucked in and not just like <laughs> just complete different shade the pictures of me in the club <laughs> when someone would grab my hip <laughs> He went whatever for whatever reason. Okay, so again, we tell you all this all the time. For whatever reason, none of you believe it until you see us. We're large individuals. Yeah. So every time in person, it's like, oh, y'all really are. It's like I don't. We're not lying. So yeah. We're 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 six seven. Anyway, due to that reason, a lot of times, you know, we'd go out with our our fellow female basketball friends and just female friends from the clubs and stuff like that. And Liv was there and everything. You know, they're uh they're taller too for being collegiate athletes, but still. You know, we'd be, we'd have our hand at their, at their waist or above their shoulder, you know, yep. but they'd have to be kind of in this region. You right know, there. Not to, and that's a vulnerable region for me. So for whatever reason, when they would like hug Peyton for the picture to just, you know, capture the memory, he would oftentimes end up looking like, so they would like, it would like encap his clothing and it'd be like this. I'd be snatched. He would normally be like this. <laughs> And then when they would do it, for whatever reason, it'd make him look like, <laughs> he was like, and like, it, it was the weirdest, like, probably month that I was like, you gotta stop. I was like, you gotta tell him, like, hey, let go of my shirt or something, because these, these pictures just aren't it. This I knew Cam was my dog, because like, oh, after it, it happened so after funny. a while. That was a crazy laugh, too, because the, fr- the first time I brought it up, he was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, go check her story. And he was just. <laughs> popping my yeah i was, was a hot girl for all, my college life and was, i remember like i was like the K was my dude because when he would be taking pictures of me and like a female friend he'd be like hey let go of his hill <laughs> i'm like Thank no you. but <laughs> let alone the vibe and the night we go for now mm-hmm. as back then has changed it's like even the scene like going to a club as young individual or with a group of friends mm-hmm. like you're going to the young and individual or group of friends scenery, like the clubs mm-hmm. that are going to play your straight up, like hip hop, rap, yep. dancing music, whatever. Like that's the vibe. But now expanding territories, going into new uh, places, it's like you're definitely going to get those. Drop it. And you're just like. Uh, I'm just like. Ah! It's like my mind is catching it, but it's like. Am I gonna have a seizure tonight? Yeah. At the same time, the li- it's and it's completely different. The club vibe is it, it, like you were saying is so different because I don't know if it was just our group and we were some dancing weird people. Like yeah. we would dance. Now when we go to club, it's just standing and looking yeah, at each it's, other. It's because I, I feel back then it was more of like let's have a ton of fun. I mean it's still fun now, but now, okay, 
especially for me. For you, it's different because, like, me, I have Liv. And me and Liv were talking about this. It's crazy. We were talking about this the other, probably like a couple weeks ago. Uh, someone invited us to go out, and we were like, yeah, it'd be fun. But it was just like, so it was more of a dancing type scene. And it was like, what are we going to do? Like, we go, it's like, are we literally going to go out and just dance? Dance or with do each you other. Just stay in and but watch Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> and the, we were but like, the, yeah. Option two. But yeah, it's like when you're single and young and you have a group of friends, like you have no problem making that circle, turning the whole place up. Like everyone's yelling and stuff, you're sweating, and then you have to take a break and then you go back to sweating. But now it's just like people go for like social interaction, yeah. not for like having fun and dancing and attention and stuff. It's like, ooh, you try to go talk to that person. Yeah, it's just like See what standing there and looking. Ooh, and she's like going to go try to talk to him. Like it's, it's more of like a to meet people now and back then it was just like go for fun i don't know if it's like this might sound like not egotistical but like in the position that we're kind of like in now where we're recognizable oh it's kind of like we're always like look like how do i say this without sound like a dick like we're being looked at often or like so like yeah. I, there's always that that wall that's there to be like okay i don't want to like dance who are like because you might be like i already ha put out a tiktok of somebody recording me in a club yeah. like s sitting there looking awkward so now it's kind of like that which i don't mind like i love it but it's just like that uh, that another wall is there kind of yeah. but i don't know yeah we i like i'm more of a bar type of person now Definitely. i like i like the bars as you continue to grow and mature that's that's the way to go you go you get your drink but you just hang out you just talk um yeah, so that's it's that yeah. about bars. But it's, I mean, but it's it's good though. It's a good change. It's fun. I'd yeah. rather go and play pool now and just relax than yeah. Hands on your head <laughs> while you're working. It's like no. I used to love that. Yeah, that was great. Um, I threw up on my dentist. <laughs> As a fellow braces wearer, Go orthodontist uh, goer, dentist extravagant. I actually love the dentist, but yeah never done that no, i've never thrown up on on a human let alone okay maybe when i was a baby but let alone another professional w that i've paid to work in my mouth all right can i explain this because i don't uh, want judgment i feel like please right, explain i know the comments are going crazy people back here are looking at me strange i th i was in high school okay and i was i needed braces because my teeth were looking like that like i had bad i had a bad grill you know what okay. i mean <laughs> and so Whenever I was going to the orthodontist, they have to make a mold of your teeth, and they have like this—they oh. have this clay stuff, right? Uh -huh. Well, th okay, that's different. I've heard people throwing up then too, but but I threw up on her, <laughs> like on the not on yourself, not on her on her on her right thigh. <laughs> she was so pretty. Too. Oh my god. And so what happened was she was like, okay, this is going to taste nasty, but we got to get a mold of your teeth. So whenever I put this in, just bite down for like however long, 30 seconds, a minute, however long they tell you, I don't remember. So they put it, they put the clay into my mouth and I have terrible anxiety when it comes to the dentist and doctors. I hate it. So I'm already panicking. I forget how to breathe. I, I don't, I blink too much. Like, I don't, exactly. Like I, my, my motor functions don't work when I'm at oh the dentist. God. So when she was putting this clay this into gunk. my mouth, it's goo. Yeah, it was, it, oh, it just looked foul. I was panicking. It's like purple. Exactly. And I forget how to breathe. I don't know how to breathe through my nose, my mouth. When I'm anxious, I'm a mouth breather. So I have to breathe through my mouth. So when you're closing my mouth portal up, I panic. So whenever she put it into my mouth, whenever she put the clay into my mouth, I swallowed immediately. <laughs> I didn't. Oh. I panicked. I was like. <laughs> and, oh. and so whenever I swallowed, I like, I, I was uncomfortable. I jolted immediately. And I was like, help. <laughs> I couldn't breathe. I didn't know. I don't know. You're sitting there. <laughs> Oh, I'm like, oh my God. You would have thought you were being like interrogated or like tortured. So I grabbed the sides of the chair and I could not breathe. I don't know if you've ever tasted that clay stuff. Not edible. In, yeah, I was about to say, it was in my mouth. I could taste it, but I definitely didn't swallow it. it that should not go down your esophagus to your belly because it will come back up. And it did. <laughs> so as soon as I did that, I don't know, I turned every direction. And it wasn't like a big throw up. It was more like a shot of spittle that was a little green, had some had some chunks in oh. it. And I go, <laughs> it just shoots right onto her thigh. And she goes, oh, God. <laughs> you projectile vomited on it. I've never. It wasn't even, because most people, when I hear that, it's like, they're sitting there leaning back. And it's like, no. And no, I was on the sitting little, up. Because they put the little bib on you. 
You set up? She didn't put me back to do it. I was sitting straight oh, up. Oh, that's her fault. And so she did that, and I swallowed it immediately. I panicked, and I've never thrown up like this. And it was like a shot, like a dart. And it was like, and it just like, bow. Hits her thigh, splatters. She goes, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> that You turn into like a lizard. Like, <laughs> like your, that was your venom. And I go, I'm, so, I'm going, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, she's like, uh, uh. And she goes, and she doesn't try to make me feel better at all. She goes, oh no, oh God. And she stands up and walks out. I didn't see her again. I got a new orthodontist. She was disgusted by me <laughs> because I panicked and threw up on her. Oh, and only the Lord knows how much you were sweating in that moment. Oh my God. You're sitting there damp. <laughs> just th there, there had to have been, so it went, did any get on you? No, all her. That's slightly impressive. That's like a, I'll give you that one. That's uh, that's disgusting. Like per usual, but that's that's wild. Yeah, uh, that's. I'm sick. sorry to you. Yeah, whoever you are, Miss <laughs> Miss Pretty Orthodontist. Dude, and I had the biggest crush on her. We're hitting it off. She was older. Oh, I'm sure it went good. <laughs> Come back. No, like that's disgusting. I was trying to say I'm so sorry to the dear. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, oh my god you swallowed i'm surprised it didn't like close up your airway you're just like <gasps> and, like dying bro i always like forget how to breathe at the dentist like whenever they put the water into my mouth and the suction thing i always almost swallow the tubes oh no i the water gets to the back of my mouth and i'm just like get it out get it out but whenever they put the suction thing in your mouth are you supposed to clamp you're supposed down to it? close your close your lips and then it goes takes everything oh but then he gets super dry. I don't. Anyway, I hate the. Dentist. I love the dentist. So you're a freak for doing that. I love the dentist. Who's like, oh, I can't wait to get operated on orally. Who does that? Me. I literally go get under the bright lights. I'm just like, <laughs> and they're like, oh, you have nice teeth. I'm like, thank you. Oh, that's yeah. why I love it. Yeah, they say you got 19 cavities to me. <laughs> they go, wow, you can still eat. <laughs> they're like, I've been chewing on bricks. What have you been? What have you been doing? And I'm just over there like, <laughs> oh, God. Gotta love the dentist. That's hilarious. Oh. That's disgusting. <laughs> Fuck, let's do a, I talked about it earlier. I got a would you rather in the Instagram DMs. You have to be Ooh. following me on Instagram at PSH8. And I'm pretty sure we've had him Ooh. on the podcast Ooh. before. That's a great knuckle pop. Great. Everyone. I just went 10 for 10. Great knuckle pop. <sighs> I went 9 for How 10. do you find screenshots in your in your... Oh, here we go. There we go. This is from Cortland. We had Cortland on. Oh, yeah. And yes. I struggled to say his name. Cortland. Cortland. Um, <laughs> Cortland Coleman. Uh, he's. This is really good. A lot of alliteration there. Um, some of them are doing what I'm doing, what I'm doing, what I got to do to get it through to you. I'm superhuman. In the event, made a rubber so the anything you say is for Shane off. I mean, it'll do to you. Never say it again in the morning. So Cortland says, Cortland says, would you rather get dunked on by your ex's new boyfriend in Ooh. a game oh. or get dunked on by a random and your girl taps her head in the crowd? Definitely option two for me. Really? You're not losing any pride in option two. Your girlfriend's just making fun of you. It's hilarious. You got it. Okay, so I'm getting dunked on regardless. No. Do I get... There wasn't an option of block the dunk, get out <laughs> no, of the way. No, I'm saying you're, 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 your philosophy is wrong. No, it's not. My girlfriend going, hey! Uh, okay, uh, I'm still new to the whole ring thing. This metal, God, that hurt. No, all right. This it, no. If she's if she's if, if, if she's Liv, head tapping, she's cheating on, on you. She's with no, that she's man on the Liv, side. Olivia Nicole Kennedy ooh, ooh. is not cheating on me. If she's playing around, just t just no. He didn't know. say playing around. He said she's okay. She's oh hey, yeah, little your boy. Ass up. Yeah, I'd be like. Wow, <laughs> we talk about it and laugh about it. But if I Hell no. divorce Liv, Liv gets new husband, we're playing against each other. First off, Liv's in the crowd, I'm not in my right mindset. No, no, no. My ex is there. Second, oh, well, yeah, they, oh he didn't say that she was there. Yeah, she didn't say, he didn't say she okay, was there. Okay, so. Wait, he did he say girlfriend in the crowd. No, no, no. no. Oh, yeah, he yeah. Did he did say girlfriend of, in the crowd. Okay, so then absolutely not. I'm getting bested, bettered as a man no. in front of my ex. No. Yes. No, because she if could- If you get dunked on by a random, that random could be an ex-pro. He could be super good. He could be the MVP of this league. You're still with matter. her, though. You're still with her. That's just her ex. You're still with this girl. That's her ex. Read it again. Is it her ex? It's her ex. 
Or no, he said. Would new you boyfriend. rather get dunked on by your ex's new boyfriend? Oh. New boyfriend. Oh, shit. Exactly. So your ex, my wife, is in the crowd. She's dead to me anyway. Okay, but now she's I like, don't care. Uh, but now she goes, yeah, I made the right decision. Can he fight? You'll have to find out. Exactly. And option two, we're taking it to Pistacus. We're taking it to the old Irish pub. Oh, <laughs> goddamn! I oughta. <laughs> I'm in him with the why oughta. Why I oughta? Okay, that he can dunk on me, and I still give him fifty. All right. True. Who said or, I can't go dunk on him? No one said that. But if you have to get dunked on, regardless, give me the random person because it's no, no, random. No. I if my girlfriend. Ran- no, we're dumb. Com- we're random. C- we're coming off of the viral TikTok and video of me talking about I got cheated on through the notes app. I can't take that again. I can't take my girl to head tapping me whenever so- I get dunked on. I can't take that. That's fine by me. I'm more of a playful guy. Sure. If I put my first off, if I'm if I put my position, blah, put myself in the position to get dunked on, then it's my fault, not hers. If she wants to have fun with it, talk her crap. That's good. Fine by me. Still love you. You still nah, love me. Bro. We go. We go home happy. Option. No, you, I'm not happy. Option one. You go home lonely, miserable, and by yourself. Whatever, dude. Cortland, the answer is option two. That's the right answer. Cortland, what do you think? Yeah, let us know. Everyone, what do you think for Cortland's thing? Dunked on by your ex's new man in the crowd. Dunked on by random. Your ex starts head tapping. No, your girl Option starts two. head tapping. Or your girl starts head tapping. Option two. Hell no, you're crazy. You're wild. If she can cheat on me through the notes app, like what else was she doing? Head tapping. She was. <laughs> <laughs> Option two is the right answer. 100%. It felt so good having Twitter and TikTok on my side this past week. It felt so good. I won. <laughs> Scratch that. Another another win for Paige. That's not a win against it's me. It's not though. a win against you, though. Anyway, though, so went against two. that devil of the world. <laughs> mm-hmm. hey, do you remember Thanksgiving at JUCO? Yeah, there's a lot of yes, <laughs> like the actual when we were there or when we left for a real meal. I almost didn't get to leave for a real meal because remember our coach threatened that I wasn't oh. able to eat Thanksgiving because I was hurt. <laughs> Bro, he said he literally. So Peyton like ro- so he, it was like a was like a week or two weeks. So a week before Thanksgiving, like a week or two weeks, before, I rolled my ankle in practice. He came down on somebody. Both going over a rebound. Boom! Click clack. Gone. Clanky ankles. <laughs> gone. Size of a softball. Super. No, swollen. I'm telling you. Let me. My ankle wasn't just like a roll. Oh damn! You rolled your ankle. It was like it was. I like was almost bad. like out for like like purple needed physical therapy. Like bad bad sprain. Like not a roll. Straight down on someone else's foot, the side of his ankle touched earth. And y'all know this crazy coach, he didn't have any sympathy. Like when I was hurt, oh no, get your ass on the sideline, you're ruining my drill. If he's gonna stay down, stomp on him. Like exactly. that was the co- like that was our coach. Oh my bro, I forgot. I have not, I forgot all about that. Okay, so. I think we already told him about how anytime there's a break or something, this man's idea for feeding us was buying a sack of groceries per room. Yes. Like he'd give us a brick of ham, one loaf of bread, two different options of cereal, and like, one half gallon of milk, like the little liter ones. And he was like, for a week. Yeah, he was like, break. stay, uh, stay, <laughs> he was like, stay hungry or stay, or not, stay fed. And we're like, what? We're like, coach, we're, we're like, a coach, grown you, adults. Coach, you know the calf is closed, right? Like, they're on break, too. He's like, so now you ungrateful? Yeah. He said, you want to go home? Go home, then. He's, Y'all some ungrateful motherfuckers. So, but for Thanksgiving, he would try to get, like, a potluck of, mm-hmm. like, people around the town. Like, uh, would y'all like to donate this? You'd like to donate that? And he'd bring us, like, it would be after a practice. And those were typically the most crazy practices. Yep. He'd, like, make you work to eat. Yes. It's insane. <laughs> and then we'd, he, we'd go to the cafeteria, and there would be, like, all this food spread out. And he literally told, so the practice ends, whatever, Peyton obviously not practicing, still hurt on the sideline. Everybody, y'all were all planning to like do something for, oh, y'all were trying to do that potluck dinner, right? Yes. And so they were all talking about it. They're like, okay, we get to eat. Like, it sucks that we don't get we to We finally get something besides food. a ham sandwich or frosted flakes. Like it, it was, we were rejoicing. And so I was going to tell coach that like, Hey coach, like I can't practice like for these next couple weeks because my ankle and like he doesn't ever check on me. Like yeah. this coach oh, never no, checked yeah. on me. If you're hurt, you're just you're out. Like, you're dead out of sight, out of mind. You, it, he'll it'll literally be like you'll come back. And he's like, oh there you are. Where you been the last couple weeks? Like 
Coach, I've been sitting right next to you. Dude. And like like Cam said, it's a work to eat. And yeah. so I wasn't working, obviously, because I my ankle didn't work. Like, I couldn't practice. Oh I couldn't walk. God, and so I was nervous to go up to him and tell him, like, hey, Coach, I'm going to be out for a while because look at my ankle. And he, I was scared that he wasn't going to let me eat. And so I remember before going up to him, I was going up to Cam. I was going up to the different teammates. I was like, bro, should I, like, should I tell say him? Or should like, I just should go I and eat? Yeah. yeah. And everybody was like, yeah, no, bro, you just got to do the professional thing. You got to go talk to him and just tell, tell him. Just get out the way. And so I go up. Oh my God. I work up the courage to go up to our coach and tell him, like, hey, coach, like, I can't practice this practice before Thanksgiving because my ankle. And he was I kid you not, our coach looks at me and he goes, oh, if you can't practice, then your ass ain't eating. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? He was like, you ain't eating this Thanksgiving dinner with us. You're going to be in the training room. You ain't going to be doing nothing. You're going to be getting stim and ice. That's what you can eat, ice. <laughs> and he, oh my God, like just insane. And he, uh, then he told, didn't he tell you afterwards, like a couple days later or something, he was like, uh, he said, Man, what, what do you even need to eat for? You ain't expending any energy. He said, you don't need calories. He said, you good. all you need is water. People fast all the time. Like, just insane. Like, it, it's, I don't even know. Like, y'all simply had to be there. Because these, like, that. speaking of fever dreams from last week, like, our entire Juco experience Bro, was a melting that. pot of insanity and, like, this isn't real. I was a 17-year-old, 18-year-old kid. This is my first Thanksgiving away from home. So I'm already a little sad that I'm not with my family. And now my coach is telling me I can't eat because at all. My because my ankle is broken. Yeah. Like, an involuntary injury. Now he's saying, yo ass is going to be in the training room. You can't eat with us. Go oh ahead and eat that ice. Oh, my God. Like, and then so, like, I'm upset. And I'm like, damn, like, I'm... I can't eat. Like, I was telling everybody. I go into the locker room. I'm like, guys, I'm not going like to be there. Said, I can't eat. <laughs> and that's exactly their reaction. Bro, he's <laughs> because he came in like a dog, like a sad dog that you just, like, spanked or something. He was like, bro, coach said I can't eat. And we were just like, what the hell? <laughs> and because, so, like, who does that? Like, it's like, what do you what do you mean I can't eat the food? The calf is closed. I'm in Juco. I don't have money. Like, oh, my God. And so I was so upset because, like, this was, like, the 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 climax of the season around Thanksgiving time. Like, things are starting to, like, pick yeah. up around this time. And I haven't played a lick. So, I'm like, I'm the only true freshman. I'm not playing at all. I can't eat Thanksgiving. So I was, like, I was calling my mom. I was calling my dad. I was upset. And so I'm not a quitter, but I'm a smart guy. So I was, like, I'm wasting a year of eligibility, like, just being on the bench, getting yeah. do not plays every game. So I was, like, this Thanksgiving thing was like, that was it for me. So I was like, I need to go and tell him, I, I need to go and ask him, can I redshirt this season? Because I'm just like wasting a year, yeah. our, a year of eligibility. And I told all the guys and they were like, after they were done laughing at me because I'll be spending Thanksgiving in a training room in a bucket <laughs> of ice. I was like, guys, I'm going to go tell him that I need a redshirt this year. They're like, yeah, bro, that we makes like, sense. We like, hell yeah. You like, tell him, don't even ask. Say, coach, I'm not playing. Like, I need obviously. a redshirt. You're wasting a year of my college like eligibility eligibility my college basketball and so I was like I'm going in there and I I was so confident that he was gonna let me because that makes sense and so I walk in the office after he tells me I can't eat I'm like hey coach I was just thinking I was talking to my family I was talking to the teammates uh, I think the best thing and the smartest option for me and my longevity in my career is redshirting this year since I haven't played at all like I'm the only <laughs> true freshman like not once <laughs> like I haven't sweat in, yeah. a, in a jersey yet like I think the best thing for me to redshirt. And he goes, listen here, if you redshirt this year, you might as well pack your bags and sit your ass home. Yeah. And I go, was he tells me if I redshirt, he's going to take my scholarship and I am not welcome back to the program. And I can't eat Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> and I'm starving. I'm withering away. And now I don't even get to preserve myself for the long goal. That was a... Uh, Sick, sick, Unreal. sick. Yeah, we, he ended up letting me. Yeah, I was, I was gonna yeah. disclaim that too. He did eat food. Yeah, so uh, don't go tell you. He did. After, it was. Oh my god, he, it was hilarious. But the way he told me, he's like, "Go get your soft ass some food." <laughs> I was like, "All right, man, <laughs> bro." Good oh times, god. man. So there's another coaching story because y'all, y'all love the coach stories. And like, I'm so sweaty right now. I don't have my socks are wet. Um, <sighs> let's do a Discord call. Let's do one. Fuck it. Real quick. We can do a Discord call. Um, you pick. Okay, mm hand it to me. 
Okay, hold on. You got, you got to pick quick. If you want to be called on the podcast live, you got to join the Discord. The link is below. Who'd you call? Hello. So. So. What is good? <laughs> so I was like, what just happened? <laughs> Why was there like a six second pause? What's up, Zo? Hey, I can barely hear you. You can barely hear us. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> is it better now or no? It's a little better now, yeah. Okay. Well, what's cracking, Zo? What are you doing? How's it hanging? <laughs> I am currently uh, at work. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh Zoe, we didn't want to get you in trouble. Well, I'm not going to be it. There, it's dead right now. I'm not doing anything. Okay. Well, I, I wanted to call you because you are, um, I don't want to say it because you told me not to call you. This is the leader of the Toxic Queens. Is that fair to say? Yeah. You can say Toxic Queen. It's fine. I'm good with it now. Okay. Zo, you know I love you, but I, you're I also, I don't know if you know, you're on the podcast right now. I'm, I was pretty sure. Okay, yeah. okay. I just I forgot to tell you. Um, I, we talked about something in the podcast earlier. Um, I threw I threw up on my dentist. <laughs> <laughs> All these delayed reactions. <laughs> yeah, I uh, yeah, I do. I, what? Would, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to recover from that. Should I cut that out of the podcast or should I keep it? Oh, no. Keep it in. Keep okay. it in. <laughs> it's, it's embarrassing. Have you ever thrown up on a dentist? Uh, no, but I have thrown up on my coach. <laughs> Ooh. That, uh, quick story time, question mark? Um, to make a long story short, uh, got knocked down real hard at the baseline, had a concussion, coach pulled me over, I threw up on it. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I've never thrown up on another being. Like yeah, I, I think I you're make the only it, person that hasn't. I make it to the toilet. I make it to a trash bag. Something. Ooh, my well, name. I mean, I really didn't like her either, so it wasn't that well, bad. Hey, well, then that's a two yeah. for one. Oh, uh, eat that the, coach. The concussion, not a, necessarily a positive, but the throw up on a coach that he didn't like. That's good. That's solid. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. Do you have any question, would you rather anything? Anything. Would you rather an advice? Uh, what do y'all think about this, that, the third? Anything, Zoe? Um, I don't really have any questions or advice. I don't know. Um, maybe one thing I would like to hear. I'm probably going to have to go here in a second because I think they just stabbed me. But one question I have, y'all can answer it like after y'all hang up. But craziest like UIL basketball story. Oh, that's a good one. All right, so we're going to hang up so you can get back to it. Get to that money. We love you. Thank you for joining the podcast, and you'll see the answer on the episode. Yep. Bye, Zo. Love you. Thank you for answering. All right. Bye. See ya. Shout out to Zo for answering. Craziest UIL. So high school, high school memory. Craziest one. I have a plethora of them, but I'll let you go. Oh, what the hell? I already told mine on the podcast is whenever I got crossed up my first uh, varsity game and I oh. slid from the half court all the way to the baseline and I opened my eyes and there's nothing but camera phones and, and they're on there goes like an and one mixtape and then the ref was like hey man it was bad well okay I can either do the one where I got head butted and chipped a piece of my tooth or no that one's not I would definitely say we had a speech so it was called The Speech. Anyone mm-hmm. that was on uh, my team knows exactly what I'm talking about. We lost in a tournament, multiple games, <laughs> come back, and it was just the f- it was the hardest situation in my entire life that I've ever had to hold back laughs. My coach is sitting there, old man, angry as can be, and all of us are looking at each other just like, oh, 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 trying not to laugh, and he spits, and it misses this trash can, and like... We like he literally just spit on the floor, and he thought he'd get it in the trash can. We all it was like, uh, uh, uh. he goes, "What the hell is so funny?" And he just explodes on us, and then he slowly, so he's talking, and he slowly grips the trash can. I don't know if y'all can see this perfect, but it was like it wasn't like he grabbed it. It was like this. See when y'all do that thing, and you and y'all just don't listen. And he grabs it, picks it up, slings it across the locker room. It like shuts six different lockers, and we're literally at that point. We're like, oh. Uh, uh, 
I'm like trying so hard not to laugh. And this is after taking back to back L's. And it was just, oh my God. Like to make a long story short, uh, just as Zoe did, it was unbelievable. We lose in this tournament, games we shouldn't have lost, come back, no one's even taking it serious. And he was just heated, like so angry. And we were just trying our hardest not to laugh. Oh, shit. Oh my God. It was an amazing memory. Like I wish I could go back and rewatch that and just be a fly on the wall. God, what an episode. Now, I feel like I embarrassed myself too much. Shout out to our coach. Your socks are still wet. <laughs> They're our, still wet. I know. I feel them. Th trust me. I'm, so is my back. That's disgusting. Um. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the You Should Know podcast. Hit that subscribe button. Follow on Instagram links in the description. Join the Discord. Um, secret code for today is wet socks. Uh, it could be wet socks or it could be... <sighs> We got to go. Wet Sox is the, the, the code for today. Wet Sox. WS. Wet Sox. Wet Sox. Um, remember, one out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. I don't have they a don't know where to go. <laughs> they don't know where to go. So, all right. All right. Love you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.